Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. A crocodile who possesses great musical talent must learn to survive after being abandoned by the person he trusts most. Today we will recap the story of the 2022 movie, Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Hector Valenti is a broke artist from New York City. Despite his many skills, the audience is no longer interested in watching his performances, so he is kicked out of the talent show. While walking through the city streets looking for something new, Hector comes across an exotic pet store and decides to go inside to have a look around. Suddenly he hears a song coming from the back. Investigating the place, the man finds a crocodile that sings wonderfully well and names him Lyle. Hector takes the animal to his house and introduces him to his new home. That same day, the artist begins training him, but the crocodile is more interested in taking a nap. The man then uses his scarf to warm him up and Lyle begins to feel empathy for him. At that moment, the animal begins to sing and Hector accompanies him. Together they make a great duo, until the day they are ready to perform for the public. Hector has no money to rent the place, so he gives up his apartment as collateral. Lyle has grown a lot in this period and the man prepares a special outfit for him. Both are very excited about the presentation and feel excited about the arrival of the big day. However, when he enters the stage, Lyle freezes at the sight of all that crowd and is completely paralyzed. The animal can't sing or dance, so the audience abandons the show. When the curtains close, they return home, and Hector says he will need to leave New York for a few days until things settle down. However, the truth is that since he could not find the money to pay the rent for the place where the performance took place, he needs to move out of his apartment. Before he goes, Hector leaves in device with Lyle's favorite songs and his scarf so that the animal will remember him. A year and a half later, the Prim family moves to New York and rents Hector's old house. Josh, the couple's son, is hating the idea of living in the big city, but his parents are excited about the news. Mr. Prim has landed a position as dean of the Mathematics University. His wife is a talented chef who has decided to take a break from her career to devote herself to her family. Before they even move into their new apartment, the family meets their unpleasant neighbor, Mr. Grumps. The man owns a Persian cat named Loretta and does not allow anyone to come near her. He is extremely obsessed with the animal and claims that her health is extremely fragile. During the night, Josh hears a noise coming from the attic. The boy's room is the only one located on the top floor, so only he can hear these noises. Since he can't sleep, the boy decides to go up there and is startled to find a stuffed crocodile inside a glass box. There is a note taped to the box, in which Hector asks the new resident to take good care of Lyle. After reading what was written, Josh decides to return to the room and the crocodile breathes a sigh of relief that he has not been discovered. The next morning, after breakfast, Mr. Prim says goodbye to his wife and goes to his first day at his new job. Then Josh shows up and informs his mother that they are running late. The nearest subway station is 11 minutes away and it is almost time for the boys' class to begin. Since he comes from the countryside, Josh is not ready to deal with the crowds and the chaos of the big city. So Mrs. Prim decides to accompany him until the boy gets used to this new place. When he arrives at school, he walks through the halls looking for his classroom and accidentally breaks into the recording of a group of teenagers. Trudy was dancing with her friends and becomes quite annoyed by the interruption. During lunch, Josh eats his meal alone and then has to participate in gym class, where he gets beaten up badly. When he gets home at night, the boy picks up his cell phone and scroll onto Trudy's social media. He tries to learn some choreography, hoping to fit in, but soon realizes that he has no talent for dancing. Suddenly, Loretta appears at the window. Josh puts a pot of milk to lure her in, and his plan turns out to work. Again, the boy hears voices coming from the attic and goes there with the cat to investigate. At that moment he realizes that the crocodile is no longer in the box and Loretta finds him. The cat prepares to attack him, but ends up jumping straight into his mouth. Seeing Loretta being swallowed, Josh gets desperate and runs after Lyle. The crocodile then escapes through the ladder and hides among the alleys. The boy continues to chase it, and the animal enters the sewer. Josh sees the crocodile reappearing across the street and goes after it. Suddenly, the young man is surprised by a homeless man who tries to steal his cell phone. Just then, Lyle decides to come out of hiding and lets out his most powerful roar to protect the boy. Scared, the homeless man runs away, and Josh thanks the animal for his help. The reptile then throws Loretta out and rushes back home. The next morning, while unpacking the moving boxes, Mr. Prim finds a package of cherries, but his wife asks him to throw it away. According to her, that food is full of sugar, and from now on they will adopt a healthier diet. The man takes the opportunity to eat some cherries before throwing them in the trash, and Mr. Grumps shows up just in time. The neighbor claims that someone has fed his cat, as she is having intestinal problems. Grumps says that if it turns out that any member of the Prim family has approached Loretta, they will have to deal with his lawyers. 
That day, Josh wakes up excited that he finally has a friend. He rushes to the subway and doesn't even wait for his mother before leaving the house. Mrs. Prim has to run after the boy, and by the time she catches up with him, her son has already arrived at the station. That day, Josh goes to school alone and his mother returns home. While exercising, the woman picks up her cell phone and watches some videos of when Josh was little. She is thrilled to realize that her son has grown up and no longer needs her care as much as before. During the break, Josh takes the opportunity to spend some time in his school library and study everything he can find about crocodiles. Minutes later, Trudy shows up and asks why the boy is so interested in reptiles. Josh then reveals the truth and the girl tells him that she has a pet rattlesnake. At night, the boy meets Lyle and Loretta again. From then on, the trio begins to build a beautiful friendship. Lyle takes his new friends to visit his favorite restaurants and teaches them how to get free food. First, they hide in the garbage and wait until the cook puts out all the food. Then the group returns home and prepares for dinner. While talking to his new friend, Josh tells him that before he moved to New York, his family lived in Taiwan. His mother is actually his stepmother. She married his father when Josh was still very little. The boy lost his biological mother when he was two years old, so he considers his stepmother to be his mother, because she is the one who raised him. Lyle can't speak and the only way he can express his feelings is by singing. The animal sings one of the songs he learned from Hector, and Josh is surprised to discover that he has this great talent. While the two dance on the terrace, Loretta takes the opportunity to eat the entire banquet, since at home her diet is very restricted. The next day, the consequences appear and the cat suffers from severe stomach pains. Meanwhile, Mrs. Prim goes to wake up her son and realizes that he is not in bed. She sees the attic door open and decides to go upstairs to look for him. However, to her surprise, the woman sees the boy sleeping on the sofa next to a gigantic crocodile and gets very scared. Josh tries to explain that everything is fine, but she doesn't listen. Then, to try to calm her down, Lyle starts singing and the woman can't take her eyes off him. While accompanying Josh to the subway, Mrs. Prim calls her husband, but Josh begs her not to tell him about Lyle, because his father would not understand. The boy claims that the crocodile is his friend, so his mother decides to keep it a secret, for now. When she returns home, the woman walks up the stairs with a broom in her hand and is startled to find Lyle taking a bath in the tub. At that moment, Mrs. Prim runs out and the crocodile chases after her. The animal wants at all costs to prove that he is no danger to the family and joins her in preparing a recipe. He knows that the woman is a chef and sings a song while preparing a delicious meal without any restrictions. Minutes later, she also starts dancing and they both enjoy themselves while preparing a nice cake. That day, the woman is enjoying herself as she has not done for a long time, and her husband begins to be suspicious when he sees this sudden happiness. At night, she goes out into the streets and goes through the garbage along with Josh, Loretta, and Lyle. Concerned for his cat's health, Mr. Grumps hires a team to install security cameras on the roof along the entire perimeter. His real intention is to find out what the Prim family is hiding, because every night he hears noises coming from upstairs. On the weekend, when he goes to lunch, Mr. Prim finds that his wife has ordered pizza, which is totally unusual. Josh takes some slices to Lyle and his father takes the opportunity to question his wife if she is having an affair, since she is much happier lately. Disconcerted by this question, the woman decides to tell the truth and takes her husband to Josh's room, where Lyle is. Upon seeing the creature, the man pulls his family out and rushes downstairs. The animal then runs into the bedroom behind them and sees a picture taped to the wall. In the old days, Mr. Prim practiced fighting, and the crocodile gets into position to confront him. However, instead of accepting the challenge, the man runs away and intends to leave the house to ask for help. However, when he opens the door, he is confronted by Hector. The former owner of the apartment shows up with his suitcases and is surprised to see how much Lyle has grown. The crocodile tries to ignore him, as he has not yet been able to forgive Hector for abandoning him. However, when the artist begins to sing, Lyle accompanies him and shows that he is happy to see him again. Later, Mrs. Prim calls the real estate company to verify if Hector's story is true and finds out that he really did own that property. Although he lost the apartment because of debts, his contract allowed him to live there for two weeks a year. In the middle of the night, Hector and Lyle start rehearsing new songs in the attic and Mr. Grumps wakes up because of the noise. On Sunday, Mrs. Prim decides to go for a family walk, but her husband says he needs some time to run around town. A moment later, Hector shows up in uniform to watch the game of the Gators, and Lyle joins them. Hector believes that the crocodile will be able to pass himself off as a human in disguise. For the first time, Lyle rides in a cab and is saddened to realize that his appearance has frightened the dog in the vehicle next to him. That same day, they tour the park, ride the golf cart, and finish the adventure at the museum.
When Mr. Prim arrives home, he gets ready to take a shower and realizes that they are out of hot water. The man then goes to the attic to check the heater and Lyle goes after him. The crocodile orders him to put on his uniform and they engage in a fight. Mr. Prim starts at a disadvantage, but soon recovers and knocks Lyle down. In a few minutes, the fight comes to an end and the former fighter takes his victory. The crocodile pretends to have been defeated so that the man feels like a champion again, and his strategy works. The next day, when he gets home from work, Hector teaches the family some magic tricks while Lyle prepares dinner. He accidentally lets the pancake burn and decides to eat it so that no one will find out what happened. To end the evening, the duo gives a short musical performance, and Hector feels confident that this time Lyle will be able to perform in front of an audience. The crocodile does not wish to do this, but eventually gives in to the requests of his friend who abandoned him and agrees to be part of the show. Josh sees them sneaking out and tries to stop Hector from taking the animal. However, the man is too greedy to take Lyle's feelings into consideration and decides to drag him to the show, even though he knows that is not what the crocodile wants. Hours later, the duo returns and the entire family is gathered in the living room waiting for them. Hector says he thought Lyle had changed, but once again he is paralyzed as he enters the stage. Josh then hugs the animal, in an attempt to console him, and states that he is amazing, regardless of whether he can sing or not. That same night, Hector abandons Lyle again and the crocodile feels lonely once more. The next day, when he arrives home from work, Mr. Prim receives a summons to attend a condominium meeting with the other residents of the building. Before entering the house, he sees Hector being thrown out of a moving car. The artist enters as if nothing had happened, and Mr. Prim goes to the house of his neighbor, Grumps. When he gets there, he finds his wife, and the meeting begins. Mr. Grumps then begins to relate the episodes in which he has been disturbed by noises coming from the Prim family home during the early hours of the morning and asks the other tenants to sign a petition to evict them from the building. The neighbor claims to suspect that the family is hiding something and asks them to share information about this with all the tenants. Just then, Hector shows up and asks for permission to attend the meeting. He asks the neighbors if Mr. Grumps has asked permission to install cameras in the entire block, and everyone is horrified to discover that the man has done this without even informing them. Immediately, Grumps throws everyone out of his house to avoid being confronted, and the couple thanks Hector for preventing them from being evicted. Suddenly, the animal rescue shows up. Through his hidden cameras, the neighbor managed to detect the presence of the crocodile and called the authorities to capture it. Mrs. Prim asks Josh to hide Lyle, but the animal is found and surrounded by security guards. The boy asks his friend to sing, to avoid being taken away, but he is very frightened and can barely move. After being shot with a tranquilizer dart, the crocodile passes out and is taken to the zoo. When he wakes up, he is locked in a cage along with several other animals of his species and is soon visited by Josh and his family. The boy promises that he will get his friend out of that place, but his parents believe that staying there is the best for Lyle, because he will live with others of his kind and be cared for by professionals. Upon hearing this, Josh becomes desperate and tries to convince his parents that they need to rescue their friend. He becomes so nervous that he suffers a panic attack and faints. Minutes later, the boy wakes up and is attended to by nurses who say that he is all right. Then the family goes home and Lyle has to face his first night in prison. The animal sings to try to ease his sadness, but his suffering only increases even more as he remembers the good times he had alongside Josh and Hector. Meanwhile, the artist is on a bus, leaving the city. Now that Lyle has been arrested, there is nothing left for him in New York. That night, Josh decides to sleep in his friend's bed, as he has suffered greatly from his absence. The next morning, during the break at school, Trudy tells the boy that she will take part in a talent show. The girl then asks him not to give up on getting his friend back and says that sometimes miracles do happen. After dinner, Josh takes out the trash and finds Hector standing on the stairs. The boy asks how he could abandon Lyle and the man states that he is there to fix it. Hector asks Josh to help him free the crocodile and assures him that he will be at the zoo at 4 in the morning. At exactly the agreed time, the illusionist begins to act. He asks the security guard for help in releasing him from the chains, claiming that he got stuck while practicing a new magic trick. However, when the man goes to help him get loose, Hector manages to chain him up and breaks in. As he enters the crocodile cage, he is greeted by another animal, which threatens to devour him. Josh appears just in time and Lyle comes out of his lair to see the boy. Hector begs the animal to help him, but the reptile ignores him. At that moment, about to be eliminated, Hector asks for forgiveness for having abandoned Lyle and says that he made the biggest mistake of his life by doing so. He recognizes that the crocodile's place is not on stage, but alongside Josh and his family. When the other predator finally attacks Hector, Lyle grabs him by the tail and throws him away. 
After freeing the animal, the pair leave the zoo and come across police cars. Hector then asks the boy to run away with Lyle while he distracts the cops. At this moment, the bus with the participants of the talent show passes through the streets and Josh decides to take Lyle along. In this way, everyone will understand that he is no ordinary crocodile. The boy takes Hector's motorcycle and both travel across town to the show. When they arrive at the entrance of the place, the motorcycle separates from the cart where Lyle is and the animal ends up having an accident. Luckily, he is not hurt and quickly makes his way to the stage, alongside Josh. Just then, the boy's mother realizes that he has run away from home, and Mr. Prim is able to track his location. The young man asks Trudy to help him get on stage, and Josh goes up there with his friend. Seeing that monster, the whole audience and the judges are horrified, so the boy begins to sing, hoping that his friend will be able to break free. Just then, the policemen appear and approach the stage. Fortunately, the boy's plan works and Lyle is able to sing, overcoming his shyness. The crocodile puts on a real show during the performance and the prim couple can hardly believe what is happening when they arrive at the place. This show is so unusual that it is broadcast nationwide simultaneously, and Hector is proud to see that Lyle has managed to perform in front of a crowd. However, days later, they must face the court. Mr. Grumps uses every possible argument to get the judge to arrest the Prim family for breaking the law and stealing a zoo animal. Just as the case was about to be closed, Hector enters the trial room with a very important document in hand. He says that Mr. Grumps stole that document several years ago and the artist had to rely on Loretta's help to find it. Hector reveals that that paper was signed in the time of his grandmother, who was the same person who built that apartment and founded the New York Zoo. In the document, the woman demanded that she could keep any kind of animal in her home, since she was an animal fan. Upon hearing this, Mr. Grumps tries to intervene, but the judge quickly accepts the justification and approves Lyle return home to his family. At that moment, Loretta also joins them to celebrate the victory. Months later, Josh and his parents go on vacation and decide to take Lyle along. This is the first time in his entire life that the crocodile has ever taken a vacation trip. Hector stays behind as he needs to find a new attraction that will win the public's interest. When the family leaves, Trudy shows up and shows the artist that his rattlesnake can also sing. The girl asks if Hector is interested in being the snake's newest advisor and he accepts the proposal immediately. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.